Welcome to this overview of the Air Traffic Controller at SA Practice Test. In this video, we'll guide you through everything you need to know about the Air Traffic Skills Assessment, or ATSA, and how to prepare for it. The ATSA is a critical step in becoming an Air Traffic Controller. This test measures your aptitude for the role and ranks you based on your score. The higher your score, the better your chances of securing a position. The ATSA exam is two hours and 49 minutes long with an optional 30 minute break. The exam is divided into seven sections. After completing the first four sections, you'll need to notify the proctor to set up the remaining three. Let's break down the seven sections of the ATSA exam. These include the memory game, memory variables, spatial visual relationship, ATC simulation, word problems, personality test, and reading comprehension. The memory game tests your ability to identify the difference between sequential numbers. Each number appears for two seconds, and you must use the number pad to indicate the difference. Remember, all answers are positive numbers. Practice is key here. The memory variable section has three subparts that progressively increase in difficulty. You'll be asked to recall and calculate values associated with letters. Quick memorization and calculation skills are essential. The Spatial Visual Relationship section measures your ability to understand spatial orientations. You'll need to determine the orientation of planes based on given instructions. Be mindful of changing viewpoints. The ATC simulation is one of the more challenging sections. You'll start by avoiding plane collisions, and later, you'll need to multitask by answering math problems. Prioritize avoiding collisions over solving math problems. In the word problem section, you'll have 20 minutes to solve around 15 problems. These might include graphs and charts. It's better to guess than to leave a question unanswered as there's no penalty for incorrect answers. The personality test consists of 108 questions. You'll be asked to select which statements are most and least like you. Answer honestly as this section assesses your suitability for the role. The Reading Comprehension section gives you 15 minutes to answer 18 questions. Focus on understanding the main ideas and making inferences from the passages. Time management is crucial in this section. Here are some test-taking tips. Pay attention to directions, especially regarding penalties for wrong answers. Be mindful of the time limits for each section. Remember, it's more important to prioritize tasks correctly than to answer every question perfectly. To be eligible for the ATC test, you must be a U.S. citizen, 30 years old or younger, and meet specific education and work experience requirements. You will also need to pass medical and security clearances. Candidates are placed into two pools. Pool 1 includes CTI graduates and eligible veterans who are given priority even if they score lower on the ATSA. Pool 2 consists of all other eligible candidates who need to score higher to stand out. If you've taken the ATSA before, your scores are valid for three years. You can choose to use these scores or retake the test. If you decide to use your past results, no further action is required. The FAA covers the cost of the test, but you'll need to cover any travel or parking expenses. Make sure to bring proper identification to the test and check testing locations in advance based on your state. You can expect to receive your results about three weeks after the testing window closes. You'll be placed into one of four qualification categories, best qualified, well qualified, qualified, or not referred. If you're placed in a high category, you may receive a tentative offer letter and proceed with further steps in the application process. To succeed on the ATSA, start by taking a full practice test to identify your strengths and weaknesses. Focus on improving in the areas where you struggle and simulate test conditions to build your confidence. Thank you for watching. Remember, thorough preparation is key to excelling on the ATSA and advancing your career as an air traffic controller. Start your practice today and give yourself the best chance for success.